that? Molly? Surprise! I hacked into your video game. Pretty cool, huh? I'm testing my global communication system. Quick, look out the window. See that guy? Watch this. Hey, you. You look at your phone too much. Awesome. Everyone's so obsessed with their smartphones these days. So I figure if I beam my message that way, people might actually listen. Wow. That's, um, possible? Yep. And you and your smartphone are going to help. We are? Yep. You see, an effective message needs compelling visuals. That's why I need you to shoot some video for me. Video? Of what? Um, okay. So, yeah. We'll just, um, yeah. Let's get some video of a few things here on the surface. Like that fishing boat over there. But it's just a fishing boat. That's no ordinary fishing boat. It's a deep sea trawler. Holy cow! What is that? Let's get a shot of this monster. You can't really talk about the Gulf of Mexico without talking about oil rigs. Got it. The Gulf of Mexico has one of the biggest oil reserves on the planet. That's why there are so many companies out here drilling. How do they know where to drill? That's what those ships do. They have instruments that can locate the oil. What was that noise? The ship's towing a seismic air gun. It's used to find the oil and gas reserve. How's it do that? It shoots loud blasts, which hit the bottom and reflect back to the ship. With the right equipment, they can locate buried oil and gas deposits. Look, they're making another pass. Let's get a look below the surface. Ow! I know, super loud, huh? My ears hurt. Yeah, it hurts the animals down here too. Whales and dolphins live in a world of sound. These blasts totally disrupt their ability to navigate, communicate, and find food. Here comes that deep sea trawler again. Let's head down to the bottom and see what's happening. Um, okay. Good idea. They're catching fish and other creatures that live here. In a matter of seconds, they clear every living thing from the seafloor. That doesn't seem like a very smart way to catch fish. By destroying their homes. No, it's not. These ecosystems take hundreds of years to recover. And that's if they recover. Remember that big oil rig we saw up on the surface? This is what the other end looks like. So now you're gonna tell me this is bad too? It's not as easy as all that. Oil and gas production are a big part of the economy around here. And people need energy to- Power our cell phones and cars and well, just about everything we do, right? You got it. But oil from these wells leaks into the Gulf all the time. And chemicals that are used in the drilling process can pollute the water. And every now and then, accidents happen. This is what's left of the Deepwater Horizon rig, which caused one of the biggest oil spills in history. I remember when this happened. It was a disaster. For the ocean, and for people too. Is that trash? How did it get way down here? We're like a mile deep in the ocean. You can find trash just about everywhere these days, even in the deepest parts of the ocean. Plastic is the worst. It never really goes away. What's that? More trash, I'm afraid. Old fishing nets and gear. Out of sight, out of mind, I guess. But it's not out of the food web. Plastic and other pollutants can end up in fish, and ultimately in us. We've got enough video to get us started. Let's head back to our headquarters. Mind if I ask you a really personal octopus question? Lay it on me. Do octopuses really have nine brains? Yep. Whoa, that's so cool. It's complicated being an octopus. Sometimes we need all nine brains. Humans have only one brain. I know. It's a lot to ask of one brain. I know. 